Thanks to everyone. Please welcome Juan J. Hernandez. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Juan. Hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm Mexican. And I grew up in a little village in Mexico. So I like to go to uh, Mexican restaurants and they're fancy and shit. They got like arches and mariachis. My friends are like, does this remind you of your home? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I grew up in a village. If it was gonna remind me of my home, they'd be like no running water. <laughs> it'd be like a well that your dad has to throw a bucket and like, pull it out, hands it to you, take a shower. <laughs> It'd be like a flattened snake in the dirt road. It'd be the worst Mexican restaurant ever. <laughs> I have a five-year-old kid. He's getting to the age where he's asking things about life. And the other day, he's like, so dad, some people are smart, some people are dumb. And I was like, yes, my son. <laughs> but just because some people are dumb doesn't mean you can treat them badly. And he's like, I don't treat you badly. <laughs> and when he said that, I was like, what does that even what does that mean? I gotta be careful with him because I'm like too honest. Like anything he'll ask me about myself, like I'll answer. And the other day my dad's calling and I'm like, dad, you wanna see your grandchild? And my dad's like, yes. So I put my kid on and like, say hi to your grandpa. And my kid's like, why'd you hit my dad? <laughs> my dad's like mad, like, what the fuck? How does he know that? And I was like, Dad, answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my family's fucked up. I have a cousin in high school, he recently started selling weed. And I was like, dude, why'd you even tell me? First rule of drug sales, never tell anybody. Because now you're giving me a discount. <laughs> I didn't say that. I don't extort teenagers for drugs. I was just like, dude, stay in school. Because that's where your customers are. <laughs> Econ. No, man. I used to be into like the Andrew Tate, Manosphere, Red Pill shit. Like a few years ago. And then I had a daughter. And that's really the antidote to all that shit. Because I'm looking at my daughter and I'm like, well, she's not a bitch. <laughs> Maybe women are cool. <laughs> Maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> All right, I'll end on this. Uh, I grew up in a town. No oh, shit. <laughs> I grew up in a town that was like drug infested and gang infested, and it was so bad. And I knew it was bad because at the library there was like graffiti. And I was like, dude, what kind of enlightened gangsters are taking the library as their territory? <laughs> what kind of drugs are they selling? I was like, dude, I got Ritalin and Adderall. <laughs> what kind of nicknames do they have? Like, this is my homie Bookworm. <laughs> What's their gang sign? Just. <laughs> they don't get jumped, they play chess. Pawn 2 4 what a pussy. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's my time. Thank you